Hi Thrifty Friends, it's Laura. Hope you're all doing well. I have just come back from the Great Galetta Garage Sale. It's a four-day extravaganza right here in the little village that I live in. Saturday, yesterday, I picked up a few things, but it's like crazy wall-to-wall -wall people you can hardly get around. And plus, uh, my friend Fred and I were off to a, an auction sale, so we didn't have much time. And today I've been up there for about two and a half hours, just taking my time, not any crowds today. So enjoying myself. So here we go. This is what I got. I spent, I think between yesterday and today, maybe $12, maybe 10. I really, I mean, I literally just put change in my pocket and I had a $5 bill in my back pocket. So without further ado, I love my metal kettles. And I have one upstairs that I use all the time on the stove, but it's starting to get rusty on the inside. So I grabbed this beauty. There's one little tiny rusty spot there, but that doesn't bother me. It's, it hasn't been hard used and it's awfully pretty. Kind of looks like violets or Johnny Jump Ups, which are some of my favorite flowers. So that'll be my new kettle and my old rusty one will maybe get some plants in it next year. I grabbed this whole stack of photos. They're those instant photos, the uh, Instax camera or something. It, it looks like somebody was taking pictures of a property and maybe an estate uh, for sale or whatever. But that's something I can just I can use in my junk journals and maybe share a few with some of my junk journaling friends. I uh, grabbed work chic and home arts magazine with uh oh all kinds of good stuff inside i didn't even look inside i just grabbed them so uh junk journal stuff this is beautiful and i do know how to crochet but i've never followed a pattern <laughs> so but that that might inspire me no that's way too that's way too much for me but anyway i think it's beautiful and that look at this groovy dress is that not gorgeous what's is there a date here 1970 okay yeah I was in grade seven in 1970 look, look at oh can you see the junk journals that are going to come out of here I love it okay a few books because I had more time to look at books today I just picked up this little hymnary uh it doesn't have music in it just the words but sometimes I like to just uh, quote some of my favorite hymns in my scrapbooking and my junk journals. So, and that's just, I collect these nice little religious books, I guess you'd call them. This is a school for scandal. Um, not that it enticed me to want to read it or anything, but with, it's about, oh, it's a play. Okay. Um, it's about the size of a, the next journal that I want to make. And I, I thought I'd like to make myself a nice small one. It's still got the library card in it. So, uh, this one, I think I will read a bunch of holy crap moments. No one ever told you about parenting. Well, I'm not, well, I, I no, I'm not really parenting. My son's 30, but, uh, I am grandparenting. So I thought, uh, these might be, it looked like funny little ant, 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 anecdotes. So thought I might enjoy that. Um, I've always been interested in herbs. So it doesn't even look like anybody has cracked this book open. And uh, it's just a really nice reference book. I love to uh, recognize wildflowers and shrubs and trees and all that sort of stuff as well. So I'll enjoy that one. This one is just for a junk journal I it was just the picture on the front that got me and it's actually music it's all music pictures from Storyland so it looks pretty old it was published in Canada that's pretty cool so that's just something for my junk journals I'm not sure what I got two of these it just uh, it's a, got a puzzle inside somebody stuck a puzzle in it but it's strawberry Twizzlers and it said they were made in Montreal, Canada and two really nice boxes in good shape. So just for decoration, maybe Christmas with the red. I don't really decorate for Valentine's and I, you know, me and teddy bears. 
<laughs> I could not resist this one. So that's just another one I'm going to enjoy. Oh, oh I'm going to enjoy looking through when I get a minute. So the ultimate teddy bear book. Let's put that there. And then the book of the British countryside. I couldn't leave that behind. Uh, lived in Great Britain as a young child. I'll enjoy every bit of it. And then there are some, some uh, things that I might use in junk journals later on. We'll see. My sister was, my, I was born in Australia, but my sister was born in Great Britain. So um, I might even let her, she might have, like to have a wee look at it. So I might pass it on to her. How's my time? Oh, I'm doing good. Okay, uh, just grab this for display at my booth. Uh, it looks like I could hang my purse charms on there and then write the price down here or something. It's chalkboard. It's got the, the thing there. So that was a good grab. And these are probably one to keep and one to sell at my booth. They're vintage. You use them for, uh, are they identical? I think they are. Yeah, they are. So I'll just show you one. Use them when you are um, hemming a skirt for yourself and you don't have a friend who will stick pins in the row and you stand on the chair and they pin your hem. So this is the way you do it when you don't have a friend with pins in their mouth. It's much more fun with a friend. I've done it lots of times. You know, back in the 70s when we all wanted to shorten our skirts a whole lot more than they were when we bought them. <laughs> and a cute little, just a cute little vintage tablecloth. Not huge, but I like the colors in it. It really appealed to me. So I don't really have a table for tablecloths anymore. So this will probably just get cleaned up and go to the booth. And these are for me. I love these kind of things for my bed. I have a day bed, so I put tons of pillows on it so that it's my couch in the daytime. And there's the second one. Pretty colors. This will just go into my little basket of stuffies that I sell at my booth. They're always a consistent good seller. Those small little things just for a couple of dollars, two, three, four dollars. They, they add up. They're great. And, oh, I got a few more books. This I'll probably just, it's really in good condition. Bobsy Twins. The Big Bear Pond. So that'll probably just sell in my booth. The Rough Road. Uh, it, I think it's about World War I. And 1918. So I thought I might find this interesting to read. And then it's also a nice size for a junk journal as well, or just for books that you use for decor around your house. And this one, Jerry, the story of an Exmoor pony. Couldn't leave that behind. <laughs> I, I've picked up some of these children's books about ponies, especially the British ones. And they're really just lovely, sweet stories. And I was such a horse crazy kid when I was young and lived in England. So this is just old and beautiful and I'll probably sell it in my booth but maybe not until I've enjoyed it for a while and it says the Buzza Company Craft Acres made in USA. Look at the back of it. I mean it really has quite some age. So just grab that and one of these I love these so if you were traveling a lot I think my father even carried one of these you would put photographs of your loved ones in there and it would just be a safe place to carry photographs of because uh, my father would be away from us a lot so I just like that I'll probably keep it uh, Robin Hood prize winning recipes. It's really seen better days, but oh, oh, I mean, I'm sorry, but perfection is boring. Look at that. Look at the story that has to tell. How many of those lemon meringue pies got made? I love that butterscotch pie. Oh, it's got some cute pictures in it. It's got some recipes I'll try. 
And you know, the other reason I picked it up was some of the some of the dishware. I wanted to look at some of the dishware that that was featured in this book that was published in when 1947. 1947. So just after the war. I just I just love it. I just love it. There's old Robin Hood on the back. And this I picked up for the box. But there is some big old crayons in there. Easy off crayons, which I'll give to the kids. I'll give to the kids to play with the crayons. And I'll just keep the box. And it was made Canada Crayon Company Limited, Lindsay, Ontario. So I have friends that live down in Lindsay. And 39 cents. I never knew crayons were made in Ontario. Isn't that cool? All the manufacturing that's now overseas. I won't, don't get me started. And I just wanted a couple of hooks for my bathroom door. So just a couple of hooks. And this, they're both silver plates, but just if I get a little soup tureen or something like that, I can stick that in. And another little, I'll use that for sugar. My sister always keeps one of these in her sugar bowls. So just silver plate, nothing special. And for my works of art that I'm planning on making all because of Miss Stoneholm. Thank you very much. She's so inspiring, that girl. Mary Poppins. How cool is that? Oh, there. Mary Poppins. <laughs> I love her. And a farmer. And I'm not sure what he's got under his under his arm. I did a, a photographic series one time. I had a bunch of little farmers this size and I got those mini pumpkins. And I placed them all out, and it was called Farming the Giant Pumpkins. <laughs> it really turned out cute. So I had fun with that. And I've always wanted one of these. I couldn't believe that this was still there today. Now, I see people who have the, you know, the big long ones on their tables, and you see it in, uh, you see them in magazines and everything. This has some age. It says treeware made in USA and there's some other writing that I cannot see. But isn't that cool? I love this. And my neighbors got me a dry sink from the side of the road, if you can believe it. I took a notion I wanted a dry sink and I was gonna get some kind of cabinet and have my friend Fred build the top part for me and the next thing I know, my neighbors called me over and they said, Hey, Lord, you want this? Uh, they'd got it. Their son didn't want it. And I said, You better bippy I do. So I'm running out of time. Fast, fast. I grabbed just a couple of the uh, Lang, well, this one's a Lang, the Lang calendars. I like to cut them up and use them in my junk journals. Ones that I don't sell because you can't sell other people's work. And two... Ah, I'm stuck. Two display items for my booth. And uh, trying to go fast. This is a whole bag of wool for cruel. So just probably sell. I haven't even really looked through it. Yeah, it just looks like a whole bag of wool for cruel. Oh, there's some other kinds of wool in there. But tapestry tapestry wool so it's got cool packaging anyways that's me out of time i had great fun i hope you're all doing well talk to you soon take care everybody bye